I've I've had a problem for for some time now, thinking about the way that music is used in things. My specific problem at the moment is the plinky plonky shitty fucking slow down cover nonsense that is used in Love Island. That is the the big one. But it's not just them. John Lewis, who I hold entirely responsible for this, uses that same formula in their Christmas adverts. And if you if you don't know what I'm talking about, have a look because I'm not going to give them the time of day. But it's that sort of like let let let's make it sound all cutesy. Well, I've gone on about that before. There was a very early, very very early Grumpy at Forty, probably about three hundred and twenty ish episodes ago or something like that. Um, I'm going to go return to the use of music in things now and it's just it's just like apple now if you're an apple user i have a an apple phone it's my work phone so i, I don't i don't really include that but i use it i have i used to use an ipad i've got an i mac and, an, and a, what's that laptop one pow no some macbook right i've got one of those again that's a work thing so I would usually use my Surface. I've gone off Apple so much, and what's summing my gone offness about them at the moment, and the ad is played like lots, is the use of Daniel Johnston's story of an artist. It's just so fucking Apple being up their own arse again. Daniel Johnston, who great songwriter but come on it's a bit rudimentary isn't it it's not like it's not a polished bit of work and that's that's what makes it so kind of beautiful to be honest but the fact that apple are using it just sums sums up those fuckers